Hey there everyone, this is MarkyMan64 here welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. This is episode 4. So in the last episode we just did some tasks that we needed to do around Mabe Village in and around Mae Village and we got some trading sequence done as well and we came over here so that we could enter Yukuku, Yukuku Prairie. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that right. When I was a kid I didn't need to know how to pronounce things so I'm hoping I'm doing that right but anyway yes so we're going to Yukuku Prairie and we're going to lift these rocks and it's going to be marvellous. Now, I am forget what I need to come in here for. I forget why I can't... I can do this just now, can I not? Yeah, I can. I can't remember why I didn't put this in my notes. The fact that I needed to do this. Um. Now, let's... Get whatever, whatever's in this chest and let's leave and come back again and get that piece of heart. Because I didn't put this in my notes, but that does not mean that it's not possible. I didn't put many things in my notes. Now, how do I get in there? I'm going to want to push that one. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at them, so I'm wanting to push that skull, the top skull. I want to lift that up, and then I'm wanting to push the... Right, okay, so I'm wanting to get up to that skull without affecting anything else. So let's try and do that. Well, that was, that was difficult. <laughs> um... Okay, okay, and then I want to push this, I want to push this, I want to lift this, and then I want to pick up this piece of heart. So you got a piece of heart. Press plus to open the subscreen and see. So, well done us. We've got a piece of heart that we didn't know was going to be there, and I pressed the wrong button, but that reveals the Yukuku Prairie to us. That's good. Okay, and this is where I wanted to go. You can see that piece of heart in the left there. I'm not going to always go over to it. Just know that it's there. And we saw the bananas there that we got from Sale, the alligator crocodile thing. Now, these are these are these pincers? Is that what they are? No, they're not pincers because the pincers are coming up. The pincers are these ones, right? I'm not going to show you that just yet. I'm going to come in here, sorry. Um. <laughs> Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. I don't think I've activated one of these before. But basically, it is a... Teleporter. Now, since we've only got one of them activated, that is going to be the only one that works right now. I think I'm going the wrong way. No, this is the right way. We are going down here, and there is the next level, the next nightmare, the next dungeon, whatever you want to call it. But we don't have the key for it yet. Ha, ah, keyhole! It says slime keyhole. So we need the slime key to get in there. So in order to get the slime key, we need to we need to be up to the stage that we're at in the trading sequence. So we need to have the bananas, which we do. And of course I fell in there. Now this behind us is Pothole Field, and this is Richard Villa at Pothole Field. Sorry, I thought that that sign was going to say Pothole Field. And the castle is up there which we, I thought there was going to be a sign saying that this is Pothole Field behind us, but 
you will find out why it's called Pothole Field very shortly. So frogs bouncing around and we've got a guy called Richard here. Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee my villa. To my villa? So you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're looking for. What you're after? But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay, so this is Richard, or King Richard, Prince Richard, whatever his name is. Or maybe he's just a duke or something, I don't know. But anyway, he used to live in the castle and he was forced out by his servants. We've heard that story before, it's a Zelda staple. But he wants us to retrieve his golden leaf. It's actually five golden leaves that we have to retrieve. If we return with one, then I don't know what he would do, to be to be honest with you. But yeah, so we're going to accept the challenge because we need to progress in the story quite a bit. So yes, smashing. I'll tell to tell you the truth. There are five leaves, and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. So yes, we already have a shovel. And obviously, that would be a forewarning if we hadn't bought a shovel. But we do have a shovel. And we can't do anything in his house. But yeah, you can see a picture of the castle and the, the wall behind him and stuff. It's quite depressing. And you can see that he's obviously like brought as much stuff as possible and just like it's very messy in here but anyway yes let's go and retrieve his five leaf tickets now he did say that there were five but he waited until after we had agreed to it so not very good but anyway yes where are we going are we going up here yeah we have to go up here and uh, let's let's check out the phone because we've already listened to a phone message and we've already met old man Orira in person. But bring bring yes Orira you haven't found the five golden leaves? Try bombing suspicious places. Hope that helps. Bye click. Okay. And yes, we do need to go into a past dungeon and bomb a wall. I know this already. We will do that at some point when we're cleaning up some things, but I'm not doing that just now. I'm progressing with the story. I don't want to hit you too much with catching up with things and not, not giving you anything. So there is the castle. But sadly we can't get in just now because there is a big gate in the way and we can see that there are knights inside, they're called Dark Nuts. I've, I've written down as many of the enemies as possible by the way, <laughs> just, just letting you know. So over here is a monkey, Kiki the monkey and he even said Kiki, that was cute. Bananas, bananas, ooh hoo hoo, give to Kiki. Bananas, bananas, ooh hoo hoo, Kiki, monkeys, come, repay him, Kiki. So we gave Kiki the monkeys that we had and he is going to get his minions, the other monkeys, to build us a bridge across here because we're going to try and get into the castle an alternative way. Monkey business done! Bye bye! Oh, Kiki! And I've left behind a stick. So you found a stick, a monkey left behind. You take it. Because the monkey is not wanting it. We're going to believe that. And I'm just going to Cut down as many trees as possible, bushes, because we are still looking 
for as many rupees as possible. And if we go through here, we've got an alternative way. And here is some Goombas again. I think, yeah, we have met Goombas before on an adventure, right? We just jump on them like Mario does. Jump over here and climb up here. So then we get Dark Nuts up here. The Knights, they are just the same as... Um, what is it that we've faced before? We've faced... A Stalfos and we faced the Moblins that have the same weapons. So here is a crow and did did we get a message already? I think we did, didn't we? About no, they said bomb suspicious locations or something. Well, one of the phone hints was to throw a rock at a crow or something. So throw the rock at the crow and then kill the crow and out of the crow comes the first leaf golden leaf so you found the golden leaf so yes that's the first one and so now we have to go around the castle take out as many dark nuts as possible if I call them knights or if I call key spats or something then please do forgive me I normally do know what they're called, but their name sometimes escapes me. And hitting them like that causes them to... Right, okay, so this is... Let me just remind myself what this is. This is a mad bomber, and he has a very good way of getting behind them. If you just run towards him when he has the bomb, then you can get underneath the, the bomb when he's throwing it and slash him, try not to fall in the hole. And once he's defeated, he will give you the second leaf ticket. Leaf, golden leaf, leaf ticket. Um, I've been playing... Uh, lots of Animal Crossing, Pocket Camp, and the lead up to the, the Switch game coming out. So forgive me if I say Leaf Tickets, they are the premium currency in that game. So now we want to enter the castle, which strangely doesn't have a lock on it, because they're trusting, I guess, that you're not going to need to be kept out of the castle once you're past the castle gates, I guess. Kind of like an inner door not being locked. But anyway, I thought I would pick up as many hearts as possible before going in here. So, enter the castle. And have we had an anti-fairy yet? I don't think so. I think I've mistook sparks for anti-fairies. And they are not the same thing. So let's take care of these red zoles and take care of these dark nuts and we get another golden leaf so that's our third one yep <laughs> it kind of paused there and now if i oh man i don't even know which one i should take care of first probably this one and then let that one get stunned by hitting my shield. Now we have three of them. And we have to cross over to here and take care of them. Get some rupees and stand on the switch to open the gates. There we go. So we can get back in here as much as we wanted to. So, ha, huh, it sounds like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. So we don't need to use that shortcut every time we want to come in here. So, go up the stairs. I am again reading my my notes. Um, 
up the stairs and continue left through the door at the top. Okay, so I need to get bombs out and that spark is going to hit me here, is it not? No, okay. I think it's the left hand one. Let me just take care of one at a time. Yes, the left hand one gives you the leaf, the golden leaf. The right hand one, I think, just gives you like whatever a standard enemy would give you. So you don't need to do anything with that. And we've to go back up on this walkway down. And then go outside. And we're upstairs. Now this is one of the things, I think this was in the trailer. This, this building here. And it looked fantastic with the tilt shift kind of effect, the toy effect with the focus and I just, uh, yeah, I really like the art style in this game but this kind of sold it for me that the art style was, I was going to be happy with it. So get one of the pots, this is a pot door, I don't think we've met one of them before. I mean it's pretty obvious what what to do, you just throw a pot at it and that that's vulnerable to a pot. So I'm full hearts and yes, let's go for it. Now this is a ball and chain soldier and he's going to He's gonna yeah, he's gonna try and swing his ball and chain thing at me and kill me but you can just get him in that corner there and spam him and he will hit you a couple of times but if you've got a, f a few extra hearts which I do you can handle that it's only taken off a uh, one and a half hearts at last you got the final golden leaf now you can see Richard about that reward so now, basically, I am going to be returning to Richards. Now, can I just drop down from here or something? Yes, I can. I thought I could. But you don't want to be going through that whole dungeon again, do you? Like, <laughs> come on. Like a peasant. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see if I can refill my hearts as much as possible. So I only have, I only have a little bit of heart lost and so I'm going to return to Richards which is round here avoid the pincers I'm guessing that's what they are avoid those guys with the bombs they're really really annoying and oh man it's so weird walking so slow down this field if you know what's coming up I normally go much quicker down that down that pathway there but anyway, yes. Talk to Richard. I was too close to him, I was in his personal space. Ah, très bien! I see you have recovered all of the leaves. I wasn't playing this guy French, but yeah. Très bien, I see you have recovered all the leaves. I have just insulted my French contingents. Now move this statue and you will find your reward. <laughs> Right, yes, move the statue. I'm glad I've got super strength because otherwise that would be quite difficult. So come up here, take care of the Zolls, which have somehow found their way into Richard's house as well. That's a good point, like why are more bad guys not like taking over houses? Why are houses so sacred? So go in this chest and there is a secret seashell, but what to do with it? We will find out soon. So then come back down, take the right hand fork here and come up here. And these are little enemies that we haven't seen before. They are sometimes in the the shells, the shells. The Skulls that we sometimes see about, 
you will sometimes see them move and you just lift the skull off of the creature and it will be vulnerable to a sword attack. So this is Pothole Field, so called because there are potholes all over the place. Now you can learn the route and it's a fairly easy route but it's probably easier just to just to slash at them. Now you can jump over the holes to where there's grass. I think I need to coming up if I remember right. But you can jump over onto grass, you can't jump over onto the, the bushes obviously. But I do like to take his kind of meandering route as, as possible over here because it's a good place to get some rupees and you need to come here so it's a win-win. And that was a dead end but I kind of knew that. Come over here, down here, over to the grass and continue up. Now you can't, you could get the heart if you really tried to glitch your way up there. I'm not going to go for it just now. Obviously by heart I mean piece of heart. I'm not going to do that just now. I'm just going to continue with the story and dig in here to get a bunch of rupees. 150 already again. Okay. In soils, oh, let's do the owl voice. In soil sleeps secrets beneath your souls. That wasn't really the owl voice, but I don't think that was kind of the owl voice moment because the music didn't stop and it wasn't a kind of dramatic moment. But yes, under our feet when we talk to the owl is this patch here that we need to dig and take this. Now, it's already established, the game has already established that we can dig because we needed to dig to get... When did we need to dig to get into the castle? I'm sure we did. We needed to have the ability to dig. Oh, I suppose this is where we need to dig and that's why we had to get the shovel uh, at Richard's kind of request. But yes, so anyway, let's return. Oh, we can actually return this way. Much quicker to get out of here than to get in. Go up here and use the key on the keyhole that we've already seen. It's so fortuitous that these dungeons are in the order that they are because you normally need the previous item to get in the the next dungeon obviously so that they don't like you don't break the the sequence but yes we can't get over here we need to go around to the entrance so here we go for another long walk folks I wish it was like I wish you could attract rupees to you better than you can because like when you dig grass like that you then need to like walk over it again so to grind like that is like using double time where you would otherwise need to so you can't go into the water or else you will sink but you can go over here and use these little islands and then defeat these enemies that try and bounce over you but you can guess what they're going to do and there's a strange star shape star shape plus shape on the ground and so if we dig in the middle of it just look out for these throughout the map this is a good source of secret seashells it's normally secret seashells that are in the centre of these kind of patterns or where you would kind of expect them to be. So if we come down here and then enter level number 
three, right? Yeah, Key Cavern, level number three. Awesome. Okay, so first of all, if we use our ability that we've discussed already and smash that pot door and it gives you the, the item that was inside the pot, which is bombs in this case. So I'm bare collecting the bombs, like, because I bought, I bought quite a few bombs, didn't I? And so I've got 24 now. So first of all, go up the way and defeat the three enemies. Now these are, is it bombites? The bomb -om looking things, they're not bomb -oms, which I've just always called them bomb -oms, but in my note-taking for this, for this Let's Play, I have discovered that they are actually bomb -ites. So this chest over here, And you got a small key. It can open a locked door. Well done, us. So from that small key, go up. And to the right side. Now inside this chest is another green zone, which does happen sometimes. Just be aware of that. I think I have to, have I to go along? I think I have to go in here, no? I don't think I had actually, because I can't get in there. I need to go up here. Ignore Stalfos just now, because you can't get anything from him just now. I don't know why I've described it like that in my notes, but anyway, yes. Um, go downstairs. And we're into the basement area. And I don't think, am I going to pick up this piece of power? Let's pick it up. Okay, go up. Defeat these two enemies. And there's a there's a key. And then I want to hit the, the crystal so that it's orange. And let's see what's inside that. Nothing. Okay. And we don't yet have <laughs> you can't make it out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. I knew that we didn't have the beat yet, but yeah, anyway, right, okay, so, climb steps, okay, yeah, open chest for the stone beak. Sorry, I'm spoiling before we open it. For the stone beak, yes, now you found a stone beak. Now to find an owl statue to fit it into. Um, yeah, let's go back down and listen to the owl statue. It doesn't say that in my notes, but I'm curious what he says here. Far away, do not fear, dash and fly. Dash and fly. Okay, something is far away and we have to dash and fly. Okay, now this is where it is a bit of a challenge with the, the new note system. I have it written down on bits of paper now and it's much easier to follow but it means that I need to kind of try and keep track of where I am on the page, <laughs> which isn't as easy as it sounds. So we have to go right here and defeat the keys and... Okay, have I just to defeat the keys? Down at right, okay. I I think I went the wrong way at some point. So go down. Yes, okay, yeah. I know what I've done. I wasn't to go in there just yet, and I don't know whether I've broken what I have what I have done now. But go down here. I don't think I've broken what I've to do, but 
and then come in here because we've now activated the not the switch what are they called the crystal and so we can come up here and stab that Stalfos in the back and pick up the map at last you got a map press minus to look at it so yes now we're to go back and then up twice And then, um, back downstairs and head left this time. Now, I don't have, <laughs> I have, I have broken the order of this, of this game. Now, these guys are pair odds, I think that's what they're called, and I think think I'm going to defeat it in the way that it's meant to be defeated. Oh, that's not going to, that's not going to work. Okay, so let's place down a bomb, pick it up, and then make the payload get really freaked out, and then throw the bomb over there, and it's going to do that. Okay, let's try that again. Let's throw the bomb over there, and then he just gives you a heart. Okay, you know what? I have got completely confused because I went in the wrong door <laughs> from where my notes are, and this is the downside of being so attached to my notes. I am going to leave it there. So join us again for another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm going to try and get unconfused by this for the next episode. Thanks everyone for watching, see you later, bye bye.